Nice meeting you folks, Mr. and Ms. Madden. Well, thank you, Mr. Harper. Now, you take good care of that deposit, my good man, because by tomorrow that ranch is going to be known as the Madden property. Yes, sir. Home of the best fed, best cared for, most rambunctious cattle this side of the Mississippi. <laughs> well, I sure wish you folks a lot of good luck. Well, thank you again. Well, my dear, now that that's over and done with, you can go ahead and do your shopping. Aren't you going with me? Oh, no, no, there's too much to do. I think first I'll visit the mayor, then some of the uh, other leading citizens in the town. I'll probably visit with the minister, too. After all, my dear, there aren't many small towns that can acquire the likes of Mr. and Mrs. Cletus Madden. Oh, Cletus. Now, don't be long. Yes. Tonight, starring Jan Murray and Gene Hake. Punches, pilots, parasol, Mr. Harriman, I said to him. You get that railroad, get him right out there between those tall, towering timbers, and I guarantee you a fortune sure as my name's Cletus Madden. I, uh, hope you don't want that McLaughlin place as bad as I do. I open for five. But I do, Mr. Sledge. Five? And I raise five. I've just given our good friend here, Mr. Harper, a good faith deposit on the property. And I never believe in wasting the coin of the realm. Well, in that case, since we seem to be the only two players left, I bet a hundred. Hundred. I call. Codge? I play these. Two handsome ones, if you please. How much do you have in front of you, Miss Madden? Thirty-five dollars, Mr. Sledge. That's my bet. Thirty-five dollars, sir. And I raise five hundred. empty leather. I call. Now make your raise good. I believe you said five hundred dollars. Now, now, Mr. Sledge, I... Make it good. Well, I'll, I'll need a few moments to get the wherewithal, sir. You have exactly ten minutes. They'll be ample. Shopping so soon? Oh, Cletus, I couldn't resist it. I went back to the ranch instead. Oh, it's so beautiful. Oh, in a ramshackle sort of a way. Oh, not the way we'll make it, with tall trees and cows grazing in the pasture. The best fed, best cared for, most rambunctious cattle this side of the Mississippi. <laughs> oh, 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 oh. <laughs> Just think in a few short hours, you'll be the proud mistress of the McLaughlin Ranch. <laughs> the Madden Ranch. And we'll be a thousand miles away from St. Louis and Father. Would you feel safer if I took the rest of Papa's money and put it in the bank? Oh, it's quite safe. Besides, the auction's only a few hours off. Just as you say. Cletus, you do want the ranch as much as I do. Ma'am, you're looking at the new Cletus Madden. Frugal. Diligent. <laughs> Rancher extraordinaire. Huh? 
What's this? Huh? Why, the baguette's loose. There's a jeweler down the street. I'll have it fixed in a jiffy. You put on your prettiest bonnet, because Cletus Madden is going to take the prettiest lady to the prettiest lunch in the prettiest town in this whole wide world. <laughs> oh, darling, sometimes I think you're crazy. But I'm awfully glad I married you. So am I. Be back as soon as the pair of flyers can snap. I'm a single man, Mr. Madden, and I'm not courting. I have no use for your ring. But it's worth a thousand easily. I can see it is, but... Look, Mr. Bain, let me put it this way. I need the 500 to back a poker hand. I'll buy it right back for 600. Suppose you lose. Mr. Bain, I'm holding a full house. I have a full house, Mr. Sledge. So have I. I have eights full. Six! Well, now, Mr. Harper, you didn't think I was going to lose that hand, did you? I think you're a Fancy mouth fake. A bag of wind with a hole in it. Now, now, sportsmanship, Mr. Sledge. Sportsmanship. Now, Mr. Harper, did you say the auction was today at 2 o'clock? Right here. I'd forget about that auction if I were you, Mr. Loudmouth. I want that land, and I'm going to have it. And heaven help the man who gets in my way. <laughs> kind of relieved. Sure is a poor fit on me. I had every confidence it would never have to fit, sir. Anne. Why, Anne, dear. I'd like you to meet Mr. Uh... Will Bain, ma'am. Mr. Bain is our town jeweler. And isn't it wonderful to see such fine workmanship in this primeval wilderness? See, Anne? That setting is now rock firm. Thank you for your help, Mr. Bain. I'm afraid my wife's a bit upset. Women will misunderstand. Good day. I knew I had the winning hand. I knew we needed more money. It was my only chance to get it. And I, I knew what it would mean to you if Sledge outbid us. This morning at the ranch, I thought this is the kind of world Cletus needs. Big like he is, big enough for his dreams. And there won't be any more lies or tricks because he won't need them. I wish I could believe you, Cletus. And you can't believe me. See? Please don't look like that. This time I mean it. I really mean it. You always mean it. And I always believe you. When you walked into Papa's store that first time, I believed you. You had those flowers, the ones that were going to last forever. But there was a hot spell. They all melted. And you talked Pop into buying all I had left. <laughs> those windows were a mess, all those wax flowers. <laughs> Papa didn't dare walk down Market Street for a week. <laughs> <laughs> well, that morning I wanted to impress you so much. And you smiled at me, and suddenly I began to feel I could do anything, be anything you wanted me to be. And I need that. Without you, I'm nothing. Oh, if you ever stop believing in me... I only want you to believe in yourself. I will, Anne. I will. We'll get the ranch and I'll be a changed man. You'll see, Anne. I'll be a changed man. I'll root and grub in the ground for you. I'll plant trees that'll reach the sky. I'll fence off half the world for you, Anne. Oh, you'll see, Anne, I'll build you a dream bigger than both of us. This will be a new Cletus Madden, one that you'll love, Anne. You'll see. Quiet, everyone, quiet. I now declare this auction open. I'm going to take a written bid, announce the name of the highest bid and the amount. I'll take a second bid, the same procedure. 
A third bid if necessary. And that will conclude the bidding. How much should we bid, Cleet? Let's try 3,000. 3,000? It's just an opening bid. Let's feel out the opposition. Look who's bidding. Surprised to see you here. Madden, I've been waiting a long time for this ranch. And I've earned the right to it by my sweat and my bare hands. Now stay out of this game, because this time the pot's mine. None of my business, Mr. Madden, but I thought I ought to tell you. Sledge is a bitter man. He usually gets what he wants. He's not a good poker player, that's for sure. He's seen hard times. He can be dangerous. Oh, good of you, my man, but I can take care of him. Any more bids? Thank you, Mr. Madden. I have bids for Mr. Hammond, Mr. Sledge, Mr. Fazinghill, Mr. Bean, Mr. Whitson, and Mr. Madden. The high bidder? To Mr. Sledge, $4,500. I told you Sledge wanted the ranch. I'm sorry, Ann. I know the way you feel about it. But even if we bid the entire $4,100, still wouldn't have been enough. But we've got more than that now. You won $650. Let's bet it all, Cleet. Oh, I don't know. It's a kind of rundown property. It's going to take some cash to turn a profit after such a large investment. Mr. Sledge seems to think it's worth it. But we're not ranchers like Sledge. I mean, I'm just trying to protect your father's money. We do have to repay the loan. We will. All it takes is a little more hard work than we planned. All right. All right, we'll put up all we've got. Say a prayer. Any further second bids? I have offers from Mr. Bain and Mr. Sledge. Well, little woman gonna let you bid again? <laughs> Seems like to me he's wasting a lot of shoe leather. <laughs> The highest bid is now Mr. Madden, $4,750. This ain't barroom poker, friend. You're going to have to do a lot better than that. Well, we tried. How much did you get for it before? But that was just temporary. I don't want you to sell that ring. It means too much to me. So much that my father wound up paying for it. Man. I want you to sell it. I can't. Sell it? What, don't you want the ranch? No. No, I don't want it. All right, now you know I don't want that ranch. Listen, I'm no seed callous cow puncher that's going to molder out the rest of his days pushing some dumb animal from one mud hole to another. I'm a man of vision and ideas. Please, go along with me. Gamble. I am gambling. I'm betting on you. I've watched you back playing cards and horses and stock deals. I've watched you gamble on anything. Anything but yourself. I'm begging you to gamble on Cletus Madden because our whole future is in the pot this time. Last go around. Any further bitch? Just a moment, sir. Gentlemen, may I have your attention? Unfortunately, my bankers in the East have been delinquent in remitting the proper funds. <laughs> the proper funds. <laughs> well, in the circumstances, I, I'm forced to part with a valuable heirloom. <laughs> heirloom! <laughs> well, I don't want to waste your time, gentlemen, but I have this ring. It looks like a lady's ring. Maybe you ought to be a jeweler instead of a rancher. <laughs> well, I thought perhaps one of you gentlemen... <laughs> If you'd like to purchase this ring, just temporary. Just temporary. Until my, my bankers have called me. His bankers have called me. Oh. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Yes, My husband is offering my wedding ring for sale. Will any of you gentlemen give us $500 for it? I'll give you $600 for it, ma'am. You stay out of this, Bain. Mr. Harper, I intend making no further bid. Thank you.
We bid five thousand three hundred and fifty dollars. Uh, you'll have to make that a written bid. No, you won't. I can't go no higher. It's his. Well, in that case, the McLaughlin Ranch is sold to Mr. Cletus Madden for $5,350. <laughs> You may own that ranch now, but I'll end up with it. Oh, I've known your kind of man before. Talkers. All mouth, no innards. And that McLaughlin place represents a lot of work. And you'll never be able to stand the pace. That ranch will be up for sale inside of a year. He's lying. Tell him, please. Tell him! Go ahead. Tell me. You'll find $4,100 there. It's mine. It wasn't a loan. Papa gave it to me. I don't care about the ranch anymore, so let Mr. Sledge have it. You keep the money. I don't need it. I'm going home. Ben? Ben! Ben. I'm sorry. What can I say? Sledge was right. I couldn't hold on to it. Don't you see? Yes, I see. And I can't stand the sight of it. I thought if we got far enough away from all the failures, from Papa's handouts, from all the things I've hated so long, you'd change. You'd want to make a new start. You'd want to make it on your own. But you enjoy failure. Oh, I'm not leaving you for what you've done to me, Cletus. So what you've done to yourself, Uh, Mr. Madden, you got yourself a good ranch. I want you to sell it. Now? As soon as possible. I'll be leaving town and I want you to send the money to Mrs. Madden. Uh, care of Mr. Joseph Parkhurst, Market Street, St. Louis. Well, I wouldn't want to see the little lady miss out for anything in the world. Not after the life she must have led with you. I'll bid $4,100 for the place. Is that satisfactory to you, Mr. Madden? I wouldn't sell that ranch to you for $10,000. Not to you. Not now, not ever. I let you back down once, talker. This time we'll settle this thing outright. You mean fight over a broken down ranch or some dirt? I mean this time no empty leather. I can't handle a gun. He challenged you. Pick another way. Anyway, that's your right. You're a coward. A loud mouth. Woman's coward. <laughs> Gentlemen, I have a ring. <laughs> a very valuable ring. Of course, my bankers don't have any money, but I've got a ring. <laughs> it's a near. his breed before. They're nothing but a... Well, Mr. Madden, did you come back to sell us another lady's ring? <laughs> I came back to fight. Would you mind repeating that? I said I'll fight you. Oh, you'll fight me. What with something you're good at, like 
Words at 20 paces? Guns. What range? Six miles? Six feet. And only one of the guns loaded. Well, they need to fight, mister. That's 50-50 suicide. It's a gamble. You insist on picking the fight, he's got the right to pick the way. Of course, you could call it off. That's right, Sledge. One of us is a loud-mouthed woman's coward. All right. I think this is far enough, gentlemen. Are you men still sure? All right. There's a bullet in each gun, but there's no powder in one cartridge. Go ahead, Mr. Sledge. All right. At the count of three, gentlemen. One. Cock the gun, Mr. Madden. Pull the hammer back. Two. No, Mr. Sledge, you were both lucky. Go home. You won. And I lost the fight. You didn't lose. Your husband's a brave man, Mrs. Madden. I don't know many men who would have made that gamble. I'll hold up selling the ranch until you're fully recovered, Mr. Madden. Not for sale, sir. Ranch is not for sale. I'm going to build. Okay. I'm going to try it. I'm going to do the best I can. Why, honey, you and I, we're going to raise the best fed, best cared for, most rambunctious cattle this side of the Mississippi. <laughs> Nice meeting you folks, Mr. and Ms. Madden. Well, thank you, Mr. Harper. Ah, you take good care of that deposit, my good man, <laughs> because by tomorrow that ranch is going to be known as the Madden property. Yes, sir. Home of the best fed, best cared for, most rambunctious cattle this side of the Mississippi. <laughs> <laughs> well, I sure wish you folks a lot of good luck. Well, thank you again. Well, my dear, now that that's over and done with, you can go ahead and do your shopping. Aren't you going with me? Oh, no, no, there's too much to do. I think first I'll visit the mayor, then some of the uh, other leading citizens in the town. I'll probably visit with the minister, too. After all, my dear, there aren't many small towns that can acquire the likes of Mr. and Mrs. Cletus Madden. Oh, Cletus. Now, don't be long. Yes. Starring Jan Murray and Gene Hake. Punches, pilots, parasol, Mr. Harriman, I said to him. You get that railroad, get him right out there between those tall, towering timbers, and I guarantee you a fortune sure as my name's Cletus Madden. I uh, hope you don't want that McLaughlin place as bad as I do. I open for five. But I do, Mr. Sledge. Five, and I raise five. 
I've just given our good friend here, Mr. Harper, a good faith deposit on the property. And I never believe in wasting the coin of the realm. Well, in that case, since we seem to be the only two players left, I bet a hundred. I call. Cards? I play these. Two handsome ones, if you please. <laughs> 